According to API RP53 Periodic Field Testing Guidelines, pressure test and operate the BOP once each week. Also, follow any other regulatory requirements that may apply. Normal operating pressure for the UBOP is 1500 PSI. If at any time more than 500 PSI hydraulic pressure is needed to operate the ram subassemblies with no pressure in the wellbore, the BOP should be examined, a cause determined, and corrective action taken. To avoid damage to the packers, pipe rams and variable bore rams should be closed only when the appropriate size pipe is in the preventer. Once a year, or every six months in cold weather conditions, or if a leak occurs, the following maintenance procedures should be performed. Disassemble the preventer. Clean all parts. Do not use a wire brush on sealing areas. Replace all rubber seals, gaskets, O-rings, and ram packing. Repair or replace any damaged metal parts. Reassemble the preventer and test the rams and operating system. Every year the BOP operating system should also be cleaned and inspected. For more information refer to the inspection section of this program. Remove the rams and bonnet seals. Unscrew and remove the bonnet bolts on both sides of the BOP. Apply 300 to 500 PSI hydraulic closing pressure to open the bonnet assemblies. When the bonnets have moved to the fully extended position, the rams will be clear of the body and can be removed. With the bonnet fully opened, install a lifting eye in the top of the ram and remove it using a hoist. Next, remove the bonnet seal from the intermediate flange bonnet seal groove. Step 2. Remove the bonnet assembly. Prior to bonnet removal, from the top of the bonnet and intermediate flange assembly, remove the bleeder gland, bleeder plug, 1 inch NPT pipe plug, plastic packing screw, and the plastic packing. Finally, unscrew the plastic packing check valve from the top of the intermediate flange. Attach a hoisting cable or a sling to the entire bonnet assembly and apply tension to hold up the bonnet assembly so it does not bind the ram change pistons. Use a crescent or open-ended wrench on the flats provided to loosen the ram change pistons. Do not use a pipe wrench. It could damage the plating on the ram change cylinders. When the pistons are loose, carefully move the bonnet assembly away from the BOP body and place it on a suitable work surface for further disassembly. Three, disassemble the bonnet. Remove the O-rings from the bonnet bolts, then remove the bolts from the bonnet assembly. Break loose and remove the locking screw housing nuts. Remove the intermediate flange from the bonnet. First remove the ram guide pins from the intermediate flange. Then remove the cap screws holding the intermediate flange to the bonnet. The bonnet can now be separated from the intermediate flange. Using a sling and lifting equipment, remove the intermediate flange assembly from the bonnet. Five, remove the bonnet assembly components. Remove the ram chain cylinder O-rings from the cylinders, then remove the cylinders from the bonnet. 
Remove the operating cylinder O-rings from the operating cylinder. Then remove the operating cylinder from the bonnet. Note that large bore shear bonnets do not have a separate operating cylinder. Next, remove the seal ring and the wear ring from the operating piston, and remove the piston from the bonnet. Finally, pull out the remaining seals in the bonnet bore, including the wiping O-ring and the tail rod lip seal. Remove the intermediate flange seals. Remove the seals in the following order. First, remove the Spiralox retaining ring, then the lip seal retainer, connecting rod lip seal, backup ring, energizing ring, plastic packing ring, and the operating piston rod O-ring. 